Uh, China has agreed to build numerous public facilities in sub-Saharan Africa. Remember, China built uh, parliament buildings in Zimbabwe, in Congo, Malawi, Guinea-Bissau, Lesotho. Also, China uh, rebuilding burnt parliament buildings in Gabon, and it is renovating the parliament building in Sierra Leone. China also built and funded the headquarters of the African Union in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in 2013. We know China is a good partner for African countries. China has supported many Africans in infrastructures but the question that comes to many Africans is that at this time where Africans or Africa as a continent, we have a lot of engineers, we have people in diaspora who have capacities to build uh, our home, these headquarters, but we are not participating in it. For instance, uh, the headquarters of African Union costs uh, 200 million US dollars. This amount, maybe it is paid from China, but how the China is benefiting from this money? That's the question also we must ask ourselves. Even ECOWAS, the headquarters of ECOWAS is going to be funded and built by Chinese. So ask yourself how the Chinese are going to benefit from the man that is going to invest in this uh, project. Uh, we know that it is also unclear why the AU uh, parliament buildings, Equus headquarters could not be built and paid for by Africans themselves. You know, in these buildings, a lot of infrastructures is going to be uh, built, network, uh, internet securities, so it means our security is going to be on the hands of Chinese. The Chinese will understand everything of us because they are going to build. There's no secret about our buildings. When Africans will go to China and build the Chinese buildings, bridges, go to Europe and build European infrastructures, where our, our young men and women who are engineers, where are going to practice their activities, their knowledge? That's the question that we must ask. So the Chinese are going to create exposure for their engineers. They are going to test their uh, capacities of their people through different uh, sectors, as I said, you know, to build the headquarters. There are a lot of things, there are securities, uh, systems, uh, like water system, electric systems, security systems. So all these are going to provide employment to Chinese. And our young men and women will continue to lament, to say Africans, we, we have no, uh, or we have a shortage of job opportunities. But the job with this, I think we need a time where we need to come together and say, let us, these things or these stuffs to be done by Africans. Because if it, da it will be done by Africans, it will provide job opportunities. This tendency of saying that Africa, we don't have a capital, I, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Africa, we use a lot of money in entertainment, in luxuries in transports moving from one place to another why we can't cut these uh, costs or these uh, expenditures and give money to our young engineers and say go and build our headquarters go and do this and this we use a lot of money 
during elections, during campaign, for politics. I think the time has come for we Africans to think about the future generation. We cannot be respected if our buildings, our everything has been done by foreigners. Even the clothes we wear are not made by Africans. Even the chair we are sitting on is not made by Africans. So even the buildings that we are going to use is not made by Africans. So uh, for me, I think uh, we need as Africans to say, let us even Africans try to do what is good and right for our continent, for our bodies, for our organizations, so that they can see the value of Africa. So we will praise the Chinese for this and we will thank the Chinese for doing this. When we thank our brothers and sisters, we have said the people in the diaspora have capabilities, have capacities, why we are not engaging them? That is the question that we need to ask ourselves, that people in the diaspora, people in the continent can do this wonderful job. Why we are not giving them opportunity to show their abilities, to do things that is good and light? That is my my opinion. Please, if you have your own opinion, please uh, write in the comment section. What can we do for how long we'll continue to allow other people to work for us, to feed us, to provide shelters for us, clothes for us, aid and all kind of stuffs for us when Africa will raise up and having our own things that are made in Africa. So. Uh, that was my concern, but all in all, uh, as I said, every now and then, our aim is to see and to build the Africa we want, to come together as Africans. I love to be Africans, and I, I expecting one day Africa will raise up and will be the superpower of this world. But they can't be, or it cannot be, if we are so divided. We are not coming together. We are not sharing some information on how we can build Africa we want and what we want as Africans. Thank you.